Hello, my name is Jonathan Garcia. Uh, I'm a graduate of 2012 Recording Arts and also the 2014 Entertainment Business Program. And I wanted to say congratulations and thank you for the 20th anniversary of the Los Angeles Film School. I started off in comedy actually when I was 10 and then uh, I got into DJing around uh, 15 and I always was curious about making music and I, I really didn't know how to do it or even where to start so uh, I looked up like you know what's a mu music producer and what's this and what's that and it, it kind of led me to the school. I took a tour. It's the best decision I've ever done because um, right after the tour, I fell in love with the school, the whole campus, and everything like that, and it was just so perfect. So after I enrolled, uh, a great time, and uh, matter of fact, it was so fun, I did it again. Well, uh, I've done a lot. I've worked a lot with uh, festivals. Um, I've, I don't know if you've ever heard of like Lightning in a Bottle, uh, Woogie Weekend. Uh, Dirty Birdie Camp Out and things like that. Uh, like four or five day festivals that uh, just you meet a lot of great people there. And uh, I was working with Funk Works, the live sound uh, technicians. Uh, the, there's, there's actually a whole bunch working there, but uh, I was uh, fortunate enough to work with that team. And um, we built uh, the, the Thunder stage and the Lightning stage. Sound in general is something to be passionate about because there's different aspects to go about it. Like uh, the live sound is something just incredible because like the, the 50,000 watts just hitting you, you know, and this is like you just feel that throughout your entire body. And uh, it's just like a, a, a feeling that you can't get anywhere else, uh, I would say. Um, however, uh, movie theaters are fun as well. I've, I've helped a lot with putting it, uh, speakers inside of movie theaters too. So been fortunate to work a lot of aspects like that and then studio sound too so that I, I can't just say like one is bread and butter you know because anything that has to do with you know me manipulating sound or, or, or making a beat or doing anything like that is just so passionate and just so like raw like that feeling you know that I had a passion for it first of all uh, I, uh, not to boast or anything, but I was a little bit talented in my craft and what I did. I was good at it, and uh, I, I really wanted to explore that. So I feel like if anybody feels like they're talented, if, if you feel just any type of passion in you for this, it doesn't matter what your parents say. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. At the end of the day, you're going to have to stare at yourself in the mirror, and you're going to have to live with that. So go for it. Shoot it. Do it. What, the only thing stopping you is yourself. Uh, 20 years old, I signed up for this school. Wow. I, yeah, I started, uh, I started coming here, and uh, I did it before I was 21, so I turned 21 while I was living in Hollywood. More than Grammys and more than awards and more than money, I just really want to be involved with the community a lot, you know? There's a lot of people, a lot of good people doing a lot of hard work behind the scenes of what you know, normal people are watching and, and doing and, and to, to get to be in that community with those people, just to even stand next to them and say hello to them is, is really a big honor for me. I would love to see wires disappear. That would be, that would be pretty great because with, with all the technology going on, on nowadays, I've seen some stuff where, you know, the guy has everything set up, but he's mixing from his iPad like this. Like he's like, okay, let me put this guy on mute. Let me do that, let me do this, and it's like, you do, you're almost making it obsolete, you know? And then now that they have uh, everything recorded, like for instance, we, we have a Neve and an SSL, and you can buy those plugins and have them, like, they're, they're expensive, of course, but if you run it through, it'll sound like you mixed it on a Neve or an SSL. So if you can do that with that program and then have everything recorded on there, it's kind of making everything else obsolete. But it takes a lot of work to get that done, but I would really like to see that happen. My advice to anyone out there um, in the music industry is just do it. But uh, be cautious of what you put on your social media account. 
because it could come back and bite you sometimes. Um, seen that happen, and uh, it's, it's it's not very fun. But if you are funny and you got content out there and you want to put it out, then I mean, decisions up to you. But don't be scared at the same time. You know, don't don't really think too much into what people want. Just just do what, do what you want.